because mm -hmm. this song is super special. This one is for Dave. When he asked me to write about this place, this is a song that's dedicated to not only Slater Mill, but also to all the awesome work that you guys do and that Dave has done. So this song is called Abandoned Places. I hope you like it. I remember sitting in a classroom once in a Christianity class, and it was looking at a Venn diagram, and I was looking at a circle that said what the world needs and what you have is your natural talent and how it blends in together. And I knew I had this talent for music. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it yet. I knew I didn't want to go a selfish route and just go in the music business just for myself, but I knew I wanted to help. So doing that fundraiser really reminded me of my goals to be successful and also help other people. Going into college, I knew that I wanted to do music, but I never wanted to go to specifically just a music school because I wanted to learn a whole round of different things. And I knew that Stonehill would be perfect for me because I got to meet so many different types of people from different economical backgrounds, from different religious backgrounds, from any kind of way that would make us different. We still found a way to get along and make something great. Being a songwriter, and especially being a good songwriter, which any person who's artistic and wants to write songs tries to do, is look at different perspectives of a situation. And that was huge, especially the philosophy department. The professors there were always about challenging the ways that you thought and how to think in different ways. What I loved about it was I'm able to find the ideas that I get now by stepping out of my own perspective. To be able to step into that space of empathy and say, how did that make you feel? And to be able to know that from someone else and to write about it is really one of the greatest feelings in the world. And that's where I feel fulfilled with it. And, and it's even teaching here, when I see someone who's had a rough day, instead of just reacting to it and calling it out as it is, instead I'll say, okay, well, how about we do this song? It's a little bit more fun. I think it's light. I think we can relate to it. And it usually helps so much. Without even saying anything, it's that feeling and it's the heart knowing another heart. What I take out of it is sort of like this compass that is pointing me in a clear direction of where to go. And it's good to know like where I started, it was kind of introducing me to how to go about it, what it means to be a good community member. And then after I graduated, I'm now learning what it's like to be a leader and to kind of show other people what that compass is and how do we get there together. Thank you so much, everybody.